Hello, welcome to UML in Motion. Today we will be looking at the include use case. As with actor generalization, we can generalize use cases. Where multiple base use cases share common behavior, we can factor this common behavior into a separate inclusion use case. Factoring include use cases assist in reducing the programming effort for your system by reusing common behaviors. We use the include label for inclusion use cases, with the association line being represented by a dashed line with an open arrowhead pointing to the include use case, as you can see here. In the coffee vending system, the get bean levels use case gets the bean levels of the different types of coffee beans from the bean rack device. This information is used by the show available drinks use case to present only the drinks for which coffee beans are available to the customer. Similarly, the set available drinks use case is used by the vendor to limit the available drinks offered to the customer and knowing the available bean levels is necessary to remove any drinks for which the vendor does not wish to sell further coffee beans. The get bean levels use case is common behavior to both these use cases and we can simplify our use cases by breaking these down into common behaviors. It is important to note that at the point of inclusion control passes from the base use case to the inclusion use case and upon completion of execution control passes back to the base use case which then completes its execution. Base use cases are not complete without the inclusion use case, which may be a complete or partial fragment of behavior.